you might be interested in the inverse trigonometric derivatives. And while they're more complicated than the regular trig derivatives, there's sort of only half as many to memorize. You'll see why right here. Let's look at the derivative of inverse sine, also known as arc sine. It's one over square root of one minus x squared. Now what's very nice is that the derivative of arc cosine, inverse cosine, is exactly the same thing, just with a negative out front. The derivative of arc tangent is very famous. Arc tangent is a nice function. The derivative of arc tangent is one over one plus x squared, and the derivative of arc cotangent is exactly the same, just with a negative. The derivative of arc secant is the least common and the most confusing. It's one over the absolute value of x, times the square root of x squared minus one. As you might guess, the arc cosecant derivative is the exact same thing, just with a negative one on top. So if you didn't notice, all the cofunctions, just like regular trig derivatives, have a negative sign. As always, the product quotient and chain rule apply with inverse trig derivatives.